Here's a very easy way to tell who's done or about to be done charging at a Tesla supercharging station. If you're at a popular supercharger and you want the fastest available stall, just like we all do, Elon has already thought of this one too. So here's an easy way to tell which supercharger stall or pair of stalls is the fastest for you when you arrive. Gasoline's like a thousand times more expensive than electricity. Well, you know what? Did you We're going to solve the gas crisis. Oh, good. <laughs>what's up everybody back again with just a quick tip today if you want to know who's almost done charging at a supercharger without asking them or without awkwardly peeking through their window at their screen here's the way most people just choose an open stall also experienced tesla owners well they'll choose a stall that's not shared with anyone but there's also a third step and some more information you can pull out of this so here's an easy way to understand who's almost done charging and who's just arrived and is going to be there for quite a while the Tesla charging port lights, they tell the whole story at a glance, but before you plug in, you should quickly check the charging lights around the charging ports of the other cars, and of course the sets of A and B stalls. If you're the second Tesla to arrive in a set of stalls, you're not going to get much, you're going to get leftovers until the first Tesla to arrive is almost done. The blinking speed of the charging port indicates how much time the Tesla has remaining until it's done charging. A faster blinking speed indicates the Tesla will be there a while. It just arrived, and it looks like this in the Model S and the Model X. And if the Tesla is almost done charging, the light will blink slower and look a lot more like this. The Model 3 is slightly harder to see, and when it's full, it goes solid and looks like this. It's a lot easier to understand this when you view it side by side. It starts off fast, as it picks up charge, it slows down, blinks slow, and then it goes solid when done. This works at home too if you're curious how your car is doing at just a glance. If there's only one stall, by all means, grab the one stall. But if there's more than one open stall, this is an easy way to check which stall is currently the fastest. Basically, to sum it up, look for a charging partner with a solid green light or a slow blinking light so your Tesla will start charging at max speed. One day, hopefully, this will all be in the Tesla phone app so you can see which stall is best before you even arrive. And this should help you save some time, which, it, which should in turn help some others save some time. We're all in this fight together. There you have it. I hope you found this helpful. Our next video about the supercharger idle fees is coming up. We have tips and info for owners and future owners on our channel, Tips for Tesla. Thank you very much for watching.